Previously on Iyanla Fix My Life. 17 women. This is your child's mother. That means you don't stop by for a booty call. Tap out. All three of y'all were pregnant at the same time. You're still sleeping with him. And he's got a two-year-old with another woman. You do understand that each of you only got a piece of him, right? Are you really expecting him to be for you who he has not been for her? I'm going to meet the kids. It's not that we missed him, it's that he's missed us. As a father, I messed up. There's a whole lot Mr. of stuff. Mr. J, you dropped them. They don't care why. I really had to take a time out. Time out for what? He wasn't there. It's just too late. They think it's disgusting to be one of your 34 children. Do you love them? Absolutely. Do you love them enough to let them go? If I thought that that was the best thing So yes or no? I do. Tonight, the Ianla Mega Fix. One father with 34 children by 17 women. Are you in a monogamous relationship with her? Sometimes. Is she your girlfriend now? The explosive conclusion. Why are you crying? Because this whole thing has been a lie. My kids, I never wanted them to be a none of this. And all because of you. The dynamic is being set up on some ambush bullshit. I told you I was going to blow your world out. You took little fragments from everybody's life and threw them out there so they could be an explosion. Can Iyama break through, or has too much damage already been done? I just want to leave, man. OK, so go ahead and leave. If he's done, I'm done! Next. Let me tell you who I am. I am a survivor, a teenage mother, a welfare recipient, and a woman. I am a teacher, life coach, minister, lawyer, and author. I've had my share of breakups, breakdowns, and breakthroughs. I did my work and put my life back together piece by piece. I am Iyamla Van Zandt, and I am here to help you do your work. I'm just outside Atlanta, Georgia, heading into the home stretch of an unprecedented Fix My Life story. My oldest daughter's 26. My youngest daughter's three years old. I mean, I probably have 150 kids right now if I never wore condoms. Jay says he's fathered 34 biological children with 17 different women. What is your vision for yourself as a man. So my vision is to leave a proper legacy behind. When I arrived, I began my work where it all started, with Jay's own parents. I soon learned that Jay was abandoned by his mother when he was just two years old. Can you acknowledge that you had mental health issues? Absolutely. When I had my first emotional breakdown, I put myself in the hospital and abandoned again by his father when he was in his teens. This is what horrifies me, that at 15 years old, your son got to make decisions about where he gonna live and who he gonna live with, with two living parents. Why? I agree with you. No, don't agree with me. When things started getting uncomfortable, his father walked out on the process. Okay, so what's happening? Jay, I want you to know that your father is leaving. Did you know about all the others? Then, I spoke to the mothers of Jay's children who expressed that Jay had lied, broke promises, and left many of these women to raise their children without a father to count on. Not only does Ryan not know his siblings, but he doesn't know his dad either. When I spoke to several of his adult children, they weren't interested in hearing any excuses. You should try with your younger kids, because everybody's sitting on this couch like, we don't hate you. I just don't like you, really. I know that there's a lot of things that I've done for these children that a lot of men would not do. Mr. J. Yep. As a father, you don't get brownie points for what you are supposed to do for your children. Tell me what's going on, what you feeling right now. 
can't talk right now, man. Well, Mr. Jay, you're gonna have to talk. I tried to tell Jay that his day of reckoning was at hand. It's clear that he didn't take it seriously. But where it all went south, Mr. Jay, was when you were asking your children to acknowledge you, their father, for doing your job. I supported them for years financially. They never knew because the person they involved know. That's, said... It was your job. Yeah, but it's I did that. I'm working at a deficit all the time, no matter what, because I'm supposed to be their father, but they don't know me, and that's my fault. Mr. J, if you had been the father of the year, we would not be sitting here now. And when a parent doesn't honor their word, when they betray the child's trust in them, it breaks the child's heart, and they no longer trust you, your motives, or your intentions, and they want to trust you. But every time they do and you disappoint them, they hate themselves for trusting you again. I kept a lot of promises. Mr. J, we're not talking about the ones you kept. We're talking about the ones you didn't keep. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know when you think you haven't done enough, you you want to be acknowledged for what you have done. There may come a moment, Mr. J. And you just have to let go. Let it fall apart until you can put it all back together. There's a distinction between dropping and letting go. This is dropping. This is letting go. You dropped. You didn't let go. Jay's children aren't the only people in his life that he needs to let go. I'm gonna get you some truth and reality right now because you need a stark shot of reality. I asked him about his relationships and his living situations. And it was very clear to me that he was not being totally and completely honest. After speaking to some of the mothers of Jay's children, it became even more clear that Jay's still stringing them along. We're trying to work things out, I guess. I was never an affair. She was an affair, but she thinks she was the queen. As a woman, I believe it's time for Charmaine, Nicole, and Shantae to know exactly who they're dealing with. So I'm having them sit down with Jay to ask him tough questions face to face. Sister woman, what do you want to know about the right here and now? Are you and Nicole in a relationship now? I mean, I don't see what difference that makes right now. Answer the question. No, so no, I, it's, it's it right. Me and you made a conscious decision a long time ago not to sleep with each other. Now you want to bring that up. And you was just at my house the other day. We wasn't sleeping together. You was in the room trying to pull my pants yeah, off. We were playing with each other. We oh, weren't sleeping together. You got an excuse for oh, an answer for put everything. It like this. Is she your girlfriend now? I feel as though Nicole and I are straddling the fence. And yes, I meant yes. It's I'm a yes in a relationship. Or no. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, to the okay. relationship. Are you in a monogamous relationship with her? Sometimes, sometimes no, not. That's yes or no. But you telling me that you need to get yourself together so we can work on it, but you got a relationship when with her. When was the last time we had that conversation? Really? When? When? Really? When? Jay, we had this conversation probably like two weeks ago. So look at me. Three children. Mm hmm Interspersed <sighs> mm -hmm. by one child with your sister friend. Mm hmm why would you ever consider being in a relationship with her? Because there's a... Tell me the fantasy. Yeah, right, because you want to be with your say, children's Right. Mom. There's a part of me that want to be with my children's okay. father that want that whole Get thing. over it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Get over it! Get, I'm, I'm look at me! Get, see get over it! <laughs> I'm seeing it's not no going to happen. Ooh, let me give you a post-hypnotic suggestion. He's your children's father. He ain't your man. I think I'm clear on it now. I'm pretty much clear on it now. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Can you go tell Shantae to come here, please? Okay. I sure can. I told you this morning, I'm going to blow up your life. It's already blown up. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> 
talk to me about your current relationship with this man. We were supposed to be working things out to see how it will go, but obviously it's been a big lie. Did you lie to her? I just want to leave, man. Okay, so go ahead and leave. If he's done, I'm done! Hello? You know why? I know who I sleep with. <laughs> When a man fathers 34 biological children with 17 different women... Can you go tell Shantae to come here, please? Okay. ...there are severe consequences. I told you this morning, I'm going to blow up your life. It's already blown up. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Jay needs to understand what his dishonesty and manipulation have done to the mothers of his children, some of whom he's been stringing along for years. I am in love with Jay. I do want to get married, and I'm hoping that he can change. Absolutely, I love him. I feel like I'm the only one that he can really connect with and understand. It is time for everyone involved to have a long overdue dose of reality. Are you aware that he's in relationship with Nicole? No. A sexual relationship with Nicole? No. No, you know what? You hold her hand. Because you know what it's like to love him and want him and believe his promises and get hurt over and over. And you know what that's like, don't you? Yeah, I do. Talk to me about your current relationship with this man. Current relationship is that you're supposed to be <clears throat> working things out to see how it will go, but obviously it's been a big lie. Everything out the whole relationship through all of the kids. A lie. To know that, so I can move on. Yeah. He's not a bad person. No, he's, he's not. He's broken. Yeah. He's not whole. Yep. He doesn't mean to hurt you, but he will. Tell her. Ain't no woman gonna help him heal himself. His mother, his father, nobody. He got to fix that on his own. Did you lie to her? I think that I have lied at times. Sometimes I was truthful, sometimes I would lie. You're not being honest right now. Be impeccable with your word. I tell her you. I've lied to you. Please forgive me. I can't tell her that. You can't tell her you lied to her? Nope. And I Why? can't ask for her forgiveness either. Why not? I can't tell her that I lied to her because there has been so much back and forth between us. You don't need him to agree with you. He lied to you. Yes. He lied to you. And he may never admit it, but you don't need his acknowledgement. You not know anymore. what you've been through. Exactly. And he's still sitting here and won't tell you the truth. It's not that simple. That's I, why I'm not saying that. It is that simple. No, it's not. It's not. You it is that here, simple. It's not. Like, all this is doing right now, it's just, it's just hurt, Cutting hurt, off bro. your supply. Yeah, that That's it. what it's, it's not, doing. It's not my supply. My supply been cut off. Why are you crying? Let me get clear. Let me just get clear. Why are you crying? Because this whole thing has been a lie. Have okay. you not been telling me that? That we're trying to work through stuff to see where this is going to go? Have you not been telling me that? When I have been telling you myself, I can't do it no more. Didn't I just say that to you a couple of weeks ago and you got all mad at me and blew up at me? What it, can't you do? Tell me, tell be us, be in this What does it tell, because let's tell them what it why? is. Because of all this and my kids, I never wanted them to be a none of this, none of it. And all because of you. And it has really broken me to where I feel like I'm not a whole person, a whole woman. And I know I'm better than this. I know it. 
Oh, my God. You are whole. And let me tell you how you're going to get wholeer. You will never let this man see anything below your waist ever again. You got to make that decision right now. It's right done. now. I'm done. I'm done. Tell him. I'm, I'm done. 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 I'm done. And you got to mean it. You, If you, if he knock on your door, call her. Because she'll get you straight, won't you? <laughs> don't open the door, girl. Yonder, I don't You're not feel a victim. Like... You're not a victim. You get it? Now, it, it, you you didn't have complete information, but we've eradicated that problem. Now you got complete information, and you get to make another choice. Mr. J, Mr. J, look at me. I, I still love you. I told you this morning I was going to blow your world up. I told you. But the situation is totally different. There's been no hopping from me to her, back to her. That's not yes, the dynamic of what's been going on. Hasn't been it. Well, the way we can find out is to ask Nicole. But the thing about it is, is that the dynamic is being set up on some ambush instead of allowing me just to be it's open not, and honest. Not but it. it doesn't have to be a whole bunch of this and that. It's like, yo, did you, did you, did you sleep with her? Did you sleep with her? Say yes or no. Say yes or no. It's just not, not about. It's not really a. Slap like, with. like, just let me just put it out there I'm and that's it. It's not really a. It's a bunch of ambush. I can be, well, word. I can be, but you're not giving it's me the opportunity to do so. With you're, not, your word. you're not, well, let me, well, let me speak my word, then and I'll be honest about what I've done, what I've been doing, why in the whole nine. But if you're gonna Go take right a little ahead. syllable and just put it out there and make her look weak, make look, let make her look innocent and her look angry. I am not having no different conversation with y'all in front of him than I had. At among us as women. I heard this. This is not gossip. I told who then? I... He said to her, yes, yes, I am in a sexual relationship with Nicole. And then she said to him, is it monogamous? And he said, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. That's what he said. Everything that they're saying, you do it to me too. Oh, I don't fool with her. I don't fool with her. I don't fool with her. But deep down inside, I know it's I just want to leave, man. OK, so go ahead and leave. Don't chase him. Don't follow him. If he's done, I'm done. I heard this. This is not gossip. I told who then? I... He said to her, yes, yes, I am in a sexual relationship with Nicole. And then she said to him, is it monogamous? And he said, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. That's what he said. So then I went and called Shantae. And what she revealed, tell her what you revealed about the conversations between you and him. Tell her, because I want to hear Straddling the directly. fence was the truth. That we were Connected, working. Connected, disconnected. Don't yeah. listen to him. He manipulated. He's manipulating. We were working on our relationship. The two of you. Yeah. As what? To see as friends, parents, what? To see where this would go. So it didn't have nothing to do with friends and parents. Right. So I get it. Okay. okay. Miss Nicole, I know oh, we've man. all loved the boo-boo. <laughs> have you loved the boo-boo? You love the boo-boo. Have we, as all women, mm -hmm. as women, we've all loved the boo-boo. But there comes a moment when you just gotta make a you gotta vote for you. I want you to be real, real clear, Please. because my first concern is for us as women. I've Ain't been true. there. I promise you. I promise you. I've but been you there. But you can't be on the defense saying it ain't true because of true. maybe the outcome. It's you understand not true. what I'm saying? It ain't but, true. But don't Listen, say I can sit here and admit so exactly what I've done. So you just want to yell and scream and because... not get anything across, though? But don't yell and scream, though. I haven't but been able to tell the truth. Because I can tell the truth. And turn it into an altercation because you don't want to face it. And the reality of it is you do it with me too. Everything that they're saying, you do it to me too. Oh, I don't fool with her, I don't fool with her, I don't fool with her. But deep down inside, I know it's bull. Whether you all be friends or not, I just want you all to know the truth and make choices from your place of power and not from your place of brokenness. And if you know the man that you're in love with, in lust with, in heat with, is sleeping with another woman, go get you a bob. You know what a bob is? Mm -hmm. A battery-operated boyfriend. <laughs> 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 Do something else! <laughs> <laughs> All right. First of all.
of all, the situation is completely different than the way that it appears right now and the way it's meant out to be. They see it. I can't lie to them because they know. And you're right here. I can't. It, it, I have no choice but to be honest at this point. It's, it's impossible. Is he being honest? I lied. I, I mean, if I can't say anything, I shouldn't say nothing. I don't trust you right now. That's how I feel. And I'm hurt by you. That's how I feel. I can hear that. Thank you for that. I mean, it's just not right. Thank you for that honesty. You made me think that this was gonna be something that wasn't. Don't give, don't you dare put that tissue down. I can't give him the tissue. No. He's a big boy. Let him take care of himself. It doesn't matter. I can take care of myself. I Ta let him take care of himself. himself. But you told me this was gonna be something. I told you I was gonna blow your world up. Come on, man, but you didn't tell me you were gonna resort to, to antics and tactics and things that weren't honest and integral. You such, didn't tell me that. It doesn't such matter. As such as what? Doesn't matter. Such as what? The tactics no, it that you use. Such because you what? took little fragments from everybody's life and threw them out there so they could be an explosion. I just want to leave, man. Okay, so go ahead and leave. The award goes to. It was imperative that these women hear it from his mouth. And he was doing well until he got confronted with telling the absolute unbridled truth to everybody. The thing is, here's, I mean, this is woman talk now, mm -hmm. but if you accommodate that and tolerate that, and then after a week, a month, a day, or whatever, he can come back to worship at the temple, then there's no consequence for right. it. Yes. I, 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 you, no. Right. You've done that one time too many, and I am complete. No more. This pathology of abandonment has been and continues to be devastating for Jay and everyone in his life. In the same way Jay's parents walked out on him, he's now walking out on the process. I'm unfazed. Because the most important thing for me is that I leave you women whole. Why? Because you got them babies. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Secure the children first. So this is a man who, after three days of work, when he couldn't have his way with me, he turned on me, made me wrong, denounced the process, and walked out. If he's done, I'm done. Don't chase him. Don't follow him. If he's done, I'm done. Hello? You know why? I know who I sleep with. <laughs> this is a story about a deeply entrenched family pathology. One where people get uncomfortable, get hurt, and run away. I thought they did, but... Oh, I gotta go, man. I can't listen to this. I, I need to take Excuse me. I can't, Excuse man. me. I don't want to hear that. You lied in front of your son, caught up in your own crazy mess. We're trying to work through stuff to see where this is going to go. Have you not been telling me that? Did you lie to her? I just want to leave, man. OK, so go ahead and leave. Today is recovery time. How you doing, Mr. J? Uh, Rough day yesterday. The day to clean up what we've cut open, to stitch it up, and make sure he's ready to go back into his environment. I was very upset when I went to sleep, but when I woke up, I realized that I need to learn how to deal with things differently when I'm in a position where I don't trust the other person. I, I, need, I need to process that. I don't believe you never trusted me. I believe you were uncomfortable with what I was saying, because if you didn't trust me, you wouldn't be standing here this morning. I asked you yesterday morning, Mr. J, is there anything you don't want me to know? 
You didn't want me to know that you were playing with them three women. What I want the women to understand is they all have choice. They don't have to be with you if they don't want to. What did you learn from your children yesterday? I learned that they have a wall up because I didn't do my job right. You really have, hear me, this is not a judgment or a criticism. You really have lost the privilege of parenting them. Doesn't mean you're not their parent, but you've lost that privilege. What you can do now as a parent is be in relationship with them, elder to young adult. Right now, just own, you dropped them. I dropped you. And our relationship right now is a result of me dropping you. I didn't do what I was, I failed you, just like your daddy said to you. Wait a minute, you know what, what just came to me? I realized that, you know, wow, you, this, this is amazing right here. Because one thing that you've established is that my kids don't trust me, right? And, and clearly, I don't even know what trust is between me and my parents. And I think I know when I'm, when I'm in a situation where I don't trust, I do it my way. I'm gonna disconnect myself from everybody and everything, and I'm gonna do it my way, because that's how I grew up. Yes. That's how, that's, and that's... So you were in the pattern. It's in that pattern. It's not healthy. Right. But here's what I want you to get. The trust has to be of yourself. Trust yourself enough to know that you can handle it. Trust him. He knows the truth. He knows the fantasy and the lies and the stories. He knows the pain, the sorrow. He knows it all. And you owe it to him to think higher of him. Because who he used to be has created an environment where nobody affirms him. Not even him sometimes. I understand. Do you? <sighs> Jay is beginning to understand the dysfunctional pattern he's been repeating all his life. He was abandoned, and now he has abandoned his children. First, he should look at it like, you know, I'm just, he doesn't care. Because if you cared about one kid and you can't take care of the one you already had, why would you want to go? and make another kid. This pathology started with Jay and his father. And in order for Jay's son to avoid the same mistakes... Good morning to you. <laughs> You're nice and smiley today. All three generations of men in this family must get clarity. What's up, son? Good morning, Mr. Wes. Jay's father, Wes, has agreed to come back to support his son's healing work. One of the things that I asked you early on was what were the things that you taught him about being a man? Are you aware, after our work together now, mm -hmm. some things that you see he needed that you didn't give him? You know, son, I failed you. It's no, no mystery about that. You needed more support. And, and I, I didn't give and it And I to didn't you. give it to you. And you needed me to set an example of a man, of a father. But son, you're a lucky dude out of the 34 babies, and maybe half of them I met, I can't do without any of them. So I got to live with that responsibility. What did he need that you didn't give him? I mean, my son needed, um, he needed a real model that you could connect with and relate to. And I did not make myself available for you in that way. He needed my leadership, needed my guidance. I absolutely failed to teach you anything productive in terms of relationships with women. What is it that you want your father to hear you say? You know, I just want to see you just become a, a better person, just able to deal with what you created. Just I love you. That's it. I got love for you. I'm here for you. I didn't get to know my father till I was 33, and here you are. You're really just getting to know me. And that's not fair. So please forgive me. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, please forgive me. I mean, I'm gonna step up to the plate and st start with me, and you told me that. 
Excuse Bye. me one second. Everybody has something that they want to share with you, Jay. Jay, I love you, but I am no longer willing to tolerate the manipulation, the lies. Before I leave, I'm meeting with the mothers, the women holding on to a piece of a man they all share. Clarity and understanding are important in any healing process. These mothers must be clear about Jay's limitations and get clear about any unresolved expectations. How are you all this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think all of you are brave and courageous to come. My concern was as women that there's another bond, a deeper bond as mothers and women that we have also, to have the appropriate conversation yeah. for your children, to describe and explain and, and support them through their father's absence. And I see Miss Nicole has chosen not to join us today. Did we speak to her or did she I just? Did. You did? I did this morning. And what happened? She has just simply decided that she no longer wants to be part of the process. Which is her mm -hmm. choice. I'm going to say this again. I've said it to everybody, including them dolls downstairs. <laughs> There's no way this man can be a normal father. There's just no way. He, he, he can't even begin just basic child support. What I hope my work with him has done will give him the courage to say, I can't do that. This is what I can do. Does that shock and horrify you, Aya? <laughs> no, I hear what you're saying, but I need to make up my mind. And I know that that was the reason why I came here, was for me to make up my mind and decide what it is that I wanted to do. About? Telling my son about his dad. One of the reasons I thought it was important for you to be here was so that you would meet other mothers and, and be connected to them so that his, he could be connected to his siblings. So for me, you showing up was the decision to tell him. What would you all say to the sister woman in your circle? <laughs> I believe that you would be, it would be better for you to tell your son because it is his father. I, I really think that it's good that you came. I have two children who were raised by one man, believing one man was their father, who wasn't. And, and when they became adults, and I, I shared that with them, that was painful. Because they trusted me, they felt that I had betrayed them by not telling them the truth. Pray on it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I think what I did that gave them permission to be in relationship with, with, with one another was take the emphasis off their relationship with this broken man and give them permission to be in relationship as women, relationship as mothers, and then choose their relationship with him. I asked Jay to write a letter of confession to the mothers of his children. Now I'm going to ask Jay to come in so that we can complete our work with him. I wanted the entire family to be present to support the healing. I want to do a closure and a completion conversation. Come, beloved. So that we have the whole clan together. But Jay's daughters weren't ready to heal and didn't participate. You had some work that you had to do. Mm -hmm. Would you like to share that with them? Sure. First of all, I'd like to say that um, I apologize for not entering some of your lives as a whole man. I apologize for not honoring some of you properly as women, and especially the mother of my children. So I humbly ask for your forgiveness, but you don't have to. It's your choice. Moving forward, I would like to change the trajectory of some of our children's lives. I'm going to be the best dad, friend, and father that I can be to my children. And with that, 
I would just like to say I'm stepping up to the plate, and this is coming from the great man that I am today. So I'm going to start with you. We're going to go around. Everybody has something that they want to share with you, Jay. Jay, I love you, but I am no longer willing to tolerate the manipulation, the lies, or you being in the middle of us mothers bringing our kids together. And I forgive you for bringing all this confusion and chaos into my life and into my kids, to our kids' lives, because they did not need this. I forgive you for bringing all this confusion and chaos into my life and into my kids, to our kids' lives, because they did not need this. My prayer for you, I hope that you find closure <clears throat> and peace for your pain and the hurt that you are feeling inside. Breathe it through, breathe it through, <laughs> breathe it through. I apologize. Hope, ask, pray that you will forgive me and you will give me the opportunity to get to know you as a woman, a privilege that I have denied myself. And thank you for my wonderful children. And remember, you get to choose. Thank you, sister woman. I know that sometimes you feel a little pressure from me because I get frustrated with you telling Janai you're coming and you don't. My specific behavior request, Jay, is that if you're not going to be there, just tell me or tell, you know, tell her and just try to be consistent. Consistency, that's all I've been saying. I forgive you for everything, everything that we've gone through. I forgive you. First and foremost, I want to thank you for apologizing. I really think you mean it now. And I just want us to com communicating better and just being there for each other as friends. Ayana, you want to speak to it? I want you to actually see a child. He doesn't know you at all. He doesn't know that you're his father. And I'm willing to, to tell him. It took a lot, and that's why I'm here. But I need you to step up to the plate. If you don't, just know. Sorry. It's OK. Take your time. Just know that as his mom, the choice I made to keep you, to not inform him, was not to hurt you. It's OK. You have support now. Look to your left, look to your right. Thank you. But to protect my son. So I need you to kind of be on board with that if you choose to. Because once I tell him, I'm, I'm changing his whole world. And it's going to be hard. I would love to have him be a part of my life. I would, I would love to know him. I mean, I, I, I've always been missing a son I don't know. You have not yet seen the victory, but you do have the tools and the information required to at least step on the battlefield of your life. There are no mistakes here. Everything is just as it needs to be. 34 children, all the babies and all the mothers, everything is just as it needs to be. We came in to do a story of a man a broken, wounded man who had fathered 
34 children with 17 different women and was beginning to recognize the depth of his own brokenness and woundedness. For me, the most profound piece of this story was the work with the mothers, to get them to understand that they only had a piece and that that piece in and of itself was not functional. And even if they all put their pieces together, that the thing they were making may not fit in. Probably harder for you than anyone else. I'm so sorry. The best thing Mr. J could do for himself would be to go to some place where he don't know nobody and really focus on putting everything he's learned into practice from the inside out. Here's what I want you to know. The train is just leaving the station, <laughs> right? You ain't on the road yet. <laughs> just leaving the station. Move slow. Because everything is gonna come at you at one time. Move slow. Now I'm leaving you because you and your people and drove me damn near crazy. Goodbye. <laughs> mm.